Hello everyone and welcome to the Critical Thinking Assignment Overview video. In today's assignment, we're going to practice the cornerstone of all evaluation, critical thinking. Thinking critically means we ask questions about our sources and their information in order to determine their credibility instead of accepting them at face value. As people who've grown up with the internet, you've already had to develop some evaluation skills. A lot of misinformation and disinformation circulates online. So we're not working on anything new here. We're just deepening the evaluation skills that you've already begun developing. I'd also like to point out that evaluation and critical thinking doesn't have to be polarizing. Not all information is equally valid, but we shouldn't become paranoid to the point of doubting everything. Evaluation is a process to help us determine if the information we have found is good to use. As information creators, we want to make sure that we use accurate and credible sources. One reason is that when people are evaluating our work, using high quality sources indicates that we want to make high quality sources too. Just as importantly, we don't want to share anything that's not true. The only way to do that is to take the time to evaluate sources before we use and share them. For today's assignment, we're going to use the following scenario. You are looking for sources for a class presentation. Your professor has said that using web pages and other resources is okay as long as they are high quality, credible sources. Web pages are single pages of websites. E-resources are sources that are published directly online, such as social media, blogs, infographics, and tutorials. An important point here. We're using different types of sources for this assignment than we have been in previous assignments. For this particular assignment, we want to look at things that are created and shared online. That means we're not looking for books or periodical articles, meaning articles from newspapers, magazines, or scholarly journals. I have a video on our Moodle page called Identifying Source Type for Web Sources to help you determine the type of source you found. I'm also happy to review the sources with you, so contact me if you need help. You will choose one of these search phrases to use throughout the assignment. In part one, you're going to locate two web pages or e-resources relevant to your search. You will copy and paste their URL in the spaces provided. The URL is the information in the address bar. When I click or copy and paste it into my web browser, I should go directly to the source that you want me to see. In part two, you're going to evaluate your sources to see if they are credible. To determine that, you'll use three of the Accord criteria from our reading. You can use any three of the five you prefer. You're allowed to reference the Accord materials as much as you want as you complete the assignment. In your evaluation, you will identify which Accord criteria you are evaluating. Rate that criteria ranging from excellent, meaning high quality, to poor, meaning low quality, and explain your rating decision. You're going to be graded based on how accurately you apply the Accord criteria and on how well you explain and support your evaluation with evidence from the source. I also have an example of a completed evaluation for one source in the assignment. Let's take a look. In the example, my first Accord criteria is authority. The rating I have given it is average. The explanation is going to be my reasoning for why I said it was average. In this case, the author's credentials were provided and showed that she was a science journalist. That means that she has some training qualifications in journalism. That is a form of authority, but she doesn't have expertise in my particular topic. That's why I said it was average. I wanted to give credit to the authority she did possess, but also indicate that it wasn't the best that I could probably find. Let's look at one more criteria. My second Accord criteria is objectivity. My rating is poor. My explanation is again 
the reason that I said that it was poor. In this case, the author only discussed positive aspects of a product. She mentioned that it was controversial, but not why it was controversial or what other people have said. She also worked for the company who manufactured the product, meaning she had a conflict of interest. All of these things show me that she's only giving me one side of the story. And because of that conflict of interest, she may have a monetary benefit to pushing the product rather than presenting it accurately. That's why I rated the objectivity here as poor. These explanations are the most crucial part of your evaluation. They help me follow your reasoning and should provide evidence from the source to support that reasoning. Notice that in each of my cases, my explanations do not have quotes. I instead used specific details about each source to explain my reasoning. Either quotes or specific details like this are acceptable forms of evidence. In part three, you're going to cite your sources in MLA 8th edition format. I have a video demo to help with this section of the assignment. I also have a link to Purdue OWL where you can find additional citation examples because certain types of resources like blog posts or YouTube videos have citations that look a little bit different than just a single page of a website. The template that I have in the assignment is based on a single page of a website. I hope you find this video helpful as you complete today's assignment. If you have any questions or need additional help, please don't hesitate to contact me. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.